there's multiple ways to do zone war. I don't like having it like music sequences in the front and then the action zone coming behind you. I don't really like that. But if you guys want to do that, you can. So basically, um, you get your terrain, right? No, hold on. Let's do this. Alright. Or something like that, right? Hold on, let me just like, take this. So. Alright. So you're making it somewhere, right? So the way you could do this. Take the indestructible. So now, I'm just gonna make one real quick, alright? So you get the end. Where's it? Wait, where is it? Right, hold on, I'm trying to find off. Alright, the indestructible thing, alright? Place it down. The two things you want are these two. Alright, you want these two. So, like, let's just say. Boom, alright? Oh, hold on. Let me give you guys edits so you guys can fly up, right? There you go. So, look. So basically, what you do, you get your platform, right, or whatever. Your nice platform. All right. Let's just say everybody spawned in from the back, right here. All right. Everybody spawned in over. Alright, everybody spawns in on this side, right? So, you got your terrain, you know, you got all that cool stuff, you know, and you got the, uh, you got the rocks, you know, and the ground, forming hills, you know, you got all that cool stuff, climbing up hills and all that, fighting, right? But here's the thing. You, like, you still need the zone. Now, it's easier now because there's actual zone. You don't have to put goddamn. What is it? You don't have to put these in the back. So look, you don't have to do all this. Let me just add this. You don't have to be doing go back a few. All right, you don't have to do all this. Put the music sequences like this. This is how they made it. Right? You wouldn't have to do that, and then you wouldn't have to put a goddamn what is it? Another one two back. So this, this is how they used to do it, alright? You would get this, and then you would put it two back on each one. And then you would get, so if you set this tempo, looping off tempo, you would make, so if this was the first one, right? You put it at 180. If, if this is how they did it before, you don't need to do this now. But, you do 10, 180, I mean, right? And then you do the length two with height normal. Alright. Forward. Like, this. All you do is the tempo. This this is all you need to do. Now, when you go on it, it's gonna trigger by itself. That's gonna be like the um, warning. Like, that's gonna be the blue. And then this will be slower, a little bit slower than that, like 90. This would be like 70. That would be 50, 40, you know, all that. And then basically, this would be the warning. That would be the low damage. So it would take like 20. This would be like. The very low, low, medium, and then death, something like that, right? That's how they used to do it. And they used to trigger it using like uh, traps, shopping carts. That's how they did trigger it, right? So that's how they did that. But now, it's less complex. You take the basic storm controller, you make your map, alright? Take this. You put it initial radius, alright? So if you would spawn in this, like, had this little platform having how it is this would be like you know what it is now my first map i put it in the middle right but you probably want it to be like at the end so you keep turning it on side right so what happens i'm gonna make it 100 meters right i'm gonna put wait time before it starts no End radius, alright. So this is like where it closes into. You put zero meters, right? That means like it goes all the way in. 
like a normal zone, like a normal screen. If you did um, 10 meters, you could see that is the meters from where like it stops at, and you fight there. Or it goes like this. Now Enigma, he did it like he put it this way, and then he put a pretty sure uh, damage volume. Yeah. So he probably used the channel and he put this in that area and he made a channel go to that and he made it so after like 10 seconds then the channel would go to that and activate it and then you would start taking from that from being in it. Like the side ticks that people like the side ticks. Right. So basically if you remember what I'm talking about, like there would be a little blue zone, three um blot like three um grids away from the um barrier. And that's like the zone or like the side where you don't want to go into because you're lose ten each time. That's basically what that is and you know, you put it there and that's how you made it. But you can make it anything and you put this to like boom, and then it goes all the way in. Now you can make it like this is because like this thing about it, right? So it would come in, boom, stop there. You could do multiple zones. Like you could. This is why I like this one, right? This is why I like this. Now you could do this. Now if I broke all of this, right? I right, bye, Chris. See you later, bro. Yeah. So look at this, right? You could do, you could put it right here, and then boom, right? You got the zone, this is it's gonna stop right here. All right, now look at this, right? You can make it so it's 200 meters, so it starts there, or like, let's do 100. So it starts, boom, and then it closes in at 75. Then you could get another one, and then you can make it, you could put it over here, all right? Now see how it crosses over? You could change it. So you could put like its um initial radius what is it, forty meters, something like that, you know? And hold on. And the end radius being like ten. So now after that, it's kinda like that's closing in, but at the same time there's another zone closing in this way. So it's basically like what's happening is, let's say I'm coming in, right? I'm, just, I'm doing this, I'm turtling. I stop turtling. I get to the middle. While, by, by the time I'm in the middle, the zone is gonna be like right there, it's gonna start coming in there, right? While this, you know, is right there. So in this case, you know, it's like, boom probably would want to like put this actually no this is good this is good because it's inside of it right so this is the end of that right you come in it starts going in it will stop like this but having this one it's going to keep coming in while that stop there meaning the zone is going to end right there this is going to be where this part is and you're going to have to come in. so like look hold on Now go in, go in real quick. And see how I did this? Now, this is see why it's not moving, right? You have to put the time. I forgot to show you that. So, you put the time, and that's gonna determine how quick it closes in or whatever, right? So look at this. So wait time, right? The time before the storm clears, boom, 10 damage, you know, boom, boom, boom. Now, eight. I can do 15 seconds resize time. The resize from the initial radius to the end radius. So how long it takes for that 
to to get to the end. Make it thirty seconds. Now if this works correctly, it should start moving in. Now it's moving in, you can see by the top. You're coming in, turtling, being with you. Right. Normal thing you do, you're turtling. Yeah, this is what that is. This, I would make it so it goes all the way apart, like back or something like that, right? Or like a decent amount, like probably right there. Then it starts closing it, so you come in. And then when you come in, see, I made it stop. I'm probably going to make it so it gets closer in. And when it gets closer in, it's going to go over there. Right? Now that's closing in. Now this is my point. You see how we are not in it? It's not doing nothing, right? Because it didn't start like how that one did. Right? Because we were already outside of the second zone. So if this works really, I'd never really use two zones. But this is how it's supposed to work. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this thing. I'm gonna get that. Alright, put the spawns, alright, make this so it starts from 100 here, just good. Alright, so boom, it's starting from there, and it closes in here. I'm making so the wait time for it to resize 10, 5 seconds. I'm gonna make it resize time 30 seconds. Right? So I'm gonna quicker. And then I'll just make this one like 40 seconds. Oh no, okay. So you just keep it 30 seconds though. Alright. So you start in both of them now. That should start closing in. 10, 9, 8, 7. Now that one is already coming. That's already coming in. Like I said. That's coming quick. Right? So you would spawn probably like right there. From that box. This is coming. I'm coming fast. Right? Like, hella quick. Alright. Probably malfunctions when it does that. That's just two. Don't think it does. Same time, though. So, I'm gonna try to figure out later, on my own time, why it's not doing this. It should be working, though. Alright, I'll try to figure that out. But like, that's how those work. Like that's how the stone controllers work, right? No, let me see some. Ten delay time. No. Now that one works, right? So, see how you could do all this? Now, you would put it maybe to like end radius thirty meters. That's too big, right? You can make it five meters in this small, tiny thing, right? You would add, like, you don't even have to add terrain. You could add, like, the rocks and stuff. You can build the cave, like Enigma did, like I did, could, like some other people did. You could build, like, the little cave so you have to go through. I didn't do that, though. I made it so you have to go through the cave, all right? I made it so you have to go through the cave to go to the end point instead of, you know, going above. So you do this, 
Precise time, 30 seconds. Uh, probably gonna be quick. So I'll do, I'll make it 40 seconds. So you know, you can, oh, a minute or whatever, right? It's gonna make 30 seconds for this little thing. So you're fighting, you know, it's fair. Or you can make it drop from the sky at different points. Some people made it so like there's houses, like low key houses, so you like drop from the sky, you glide in. Alright. Like, there's no spawners, right? There's no spawn. So they just made it so you dive in. Which is smart in that type. So, like, you dive in, you land on the house, everything's normal. It's just, like, battle royale, everything. And then all you do is just fight. You take it, the zone's closing in, you fight. Like a normal game. Like, as if it was an actual pub. Like, that's probably the most real it can get. But, I'm going to get this. That's how you make the zone. Now, again, you can make the side channels, like the, you know, side thing you think about, just, like some people use. I didn't do that in mine. 15 seconds, do this. All right. Starts closing in. <gasps> oh my God, it's that sweat from today. Forever. Okay, buddy. Kenzie, why you do that? All right, now, come in, the zone's coming. So close the zone. This is like, this is probably good. So you keep on, you know. You guys can move it. It's the same speed as you, basically, right? So if you keep moving, you won't have a problem. If you stop moving, you're not catching up to this unless you run. And at this point, you would like fight or whatever. I'm dead. Or no, I'm not. Eh? I didn't make it, so he doesn't like stop spawning. Like I didn't make it last minute standing. He's gonna keep on spawning again. See? That's gonna go. You have to do the settings too, otherwise it won't be a good zone work because it's gonna be messing up. Now the most important thing probably is the force respawn. You guys are probably curious on why you can't build in the bottom, like when you just go up on some of the zone wars, like the um, value one and stuff. You can't, like, you start from the bottom. This is why. Because you start from under the ground. That's the reason. You start from under here and then you come up. And basically, the booster shoots Sean. you up. Go over the little games for a little bit. Let's be your word. You get shot up. But the force respawn, all you do, you do this, you can make a 16, and you do a 4x4. Four four. And then you get, you have to place it from above before you can put it back down, by the way. Boom. Now when you do this the settings, you have to do visible during games, you could choose that. I don't start I mean if you do pre-game on starts like I have, I would turn it off. And then priority group you make it primary. Team any. And then you just go do that. Use on start and no. Like I'd put that off, you put that off. So they, you know, don't spawn here at first. You just do that to the whole thing. And then basically what would happen, right? I just put two of them. So now, when you do that, you would take this. And then you throw that. And then put that in the middle. Alright. Player damage, structure damage, uh, 5,000, or 2,000, 1,000, whatever. Last radius, 3. That was a 3. It's the black. It's four blocks. 
this ha this is the map. That's how it is. It's gonna blow the whole thing. Okay. And that's the blast radius. Like, look at the distance. Two. Okay. Explore proximity range. Off. Time to detonation from game start. Five seconds. All right. Choose this. Here we go. Now when we start the game. We start the game and we start here and we don't have a roof so we just do everything. That's gonna blow up in five seconds. Now because I made it so you have more lives. Or no, it's infinite lives, my bad. So you have infinite lives. I didn't change settings. You would spawn here, but you'd have two lives though. You need two lives. You put two, then you would waste the one life, so then this is your only life basically. So you fight like normal. Then it would start coming up. You need fight. Do do. But yeah, it's pretty crazy how you do it. Now, if you had the right settings. Alright. Let me show you what it is with the two settings that is probably the most important for it. You need last standing. Last person standing on. So, like. Last standing, you have to have that on. Do the primary spectate, total rounds, whatever you want, and then you gotta make this too. Then you start. No, my other world, I like like one of the canyon ones were bugging, so it didn't work. But the um, second canyon one actually was working, so. This room kills us, right? Now it starts in three seconds. Now that's why you have to focus on that, the timer because how much time you have to loot your stuff. So you may have to make it like um, 30 seconds so you can get your stuff and start getting out. But yeah, or 20 or something like that. And now you spawn here, this is your only life. So now if I kill this kid, right? If he would die, I would win. And he would die and I would be last man standing. And I won. That's how it is, and then you know. That's like the most important setting. So then you would do all of this, you know, all this. Start with full shield, uh, maximum loading resource. You do battle royale. I do four times, or three times is probably better. Also, it's more realistic. And then you do allow building on, you know, all that. It's a lot of settings that you can do. Now these these were added for pop hunt. So like, you know, this, is that it for anything? But yeah, th these were mostly for pop up. That's basically how you make a zone war though.